Hello chess lovers, Storm here and in today's video we will witness a tough fight. On the white side is Argentinian chess player Fernando Alberto Braga, international master from 1984. His opponent is Dutch chess grandmaster Ian Timon. This game was played in 1982 in Argentinian city Mar del Plata. Braga opened up with e4 to which Timon answered with c6. Karokan defenses on the board, advanced variation. Knight c3, e6, g4, white is playing very aggressively and is going for a kingside expansion, meanwhile black is undermining white center, all this is a standard stuff, d takes c5 and in return black is winning white central, e pawn, knight d4, knight f6, f4, knight takes g4, uh, black is hitting up the position further, knight e d7 looks safer but in our game we have knight takes g4, and after bishop b5 check we can see that you no longer can cover your king because you will lose your knight. That's why black made a move with his king thus also making it hard for this dark squared bishop to develop and also in future the king can become a potential target. Right now the dark squared bishop is hanging, it retreated, queen c7 hitting on f4, c6, b6. Yeah, black is not eager of allowing knight takes c6 check, but this b6 allowed white to get a passed pawn. Queen e2, queen takes f4, c7, knight e4. This white king is also in the center of the board, and yeah, uh, black also goes for a direct kill. The position looks very sharp, and both players have to play carefully. Now, king goes on d6, h3, trying to kick away this knight, but there came a check. King f1, queen f4 check. At this point, black repeated the moves and then went for queen takes c3. Looks very beautiful, right? Freeing the g3 square for the knight in order to uh, simplify the position. In that case, since black has many extra pawns, black will easily convert it. That's why black is looking for a simplification. Uh, but uh, white didn't recapture, played queen takes g4. First I want to finish up the game and then I will turn on stockfish, we will cover some sidelines. Uh, queen takes g4 was met with queen takes b2, hitting on a1, also on b5, but it was in here that white made another interesting decision, played a4 and allowed queen takes a1 check. What's happening guys? King g2 f5. f5 is a mistake but once again we'll come back to it later. The queen is under attack, we have queen h4, queen f6, bishop h2 check. <laughs> Looks interesting, right? Suddenly turns out that this is a check. Nice resource, king c5. And it was in here that Fernando Alberto Braga found another spectacular move. Uh, if you go for an exchange of queens then definitely you will lose. You are a rook down, right? And at this point, can you find white's next move? Ready? Here's Braga played knight b8. He's threatening to go for a pawn promotion. Also, I don't know, maybe a uh, forking idea can be used at some point. But yeah, right now, of course, uh, c8, queen is the threat. And with knight b8, white is leaving the queen on h4 unprotected. The queen dropped, but in return, new queen is born, check, king b4, rook b1, check, is there a checkmate? Let's see. Well, if you play king a5, you will get checkmated, of course, or knight c6 is also checkmate, right? Or you can even sacrifice your queen and then announce a checkmate, but of course, uh, black won't play king a5, black played king a3 and turns out that black king is in safety, all you can do is to give a perpetual check and that's something which white did. Uh, you can't get much out of this position and so at this point the players agreed to a draw because after rook b1 check threefold repetition is appearing on the board. So my stockfish is on and let's proceed from this position. I'm here for example, is there a move like queen takes c7? What if black wins that? Then check, and then if, I don't know, king e8, knight d5 check, and then knight takes g4. Yeah, this can be unpleasant, you know? You This can be unpleasant. 
in case of king d6 h3 trying to kick away the defender and announce this check yeah that's why queen takes c7 is not good as we can see knight d4 is the move which was made in the game there came knight c6 check king d6 at the moment black has an advantage despite having a king on d6 h3 check king f1 Queen takes c3, of course, is Angie's first choice, but we first have repetition of moves, and only then black went for queen takes c3. Now, look, if you recapture, if then knight g3 check is coming, and as mentioned, this leads to simplifications. In the end of the day, black is getting three extra pawns, right? Let's kick away the defender, and yeah, b takes a force, white is giving up a piece by at the same time uh, damaging opponent's pawn structure. And yeah, in this case, black is doing great, black has three extra pawns. This should be winning. Uh, in our game after queen takes c3, that's why we have queen takes g4. So we can see that black has a completely winning position, right guys? a4 and the move which was a mistake from... Uh, team on side was queen takes a1 check, but white is playing very boldly, right? That a4 is something uh, which uh, deserves uh, an exclamation mark. Why not? Queen a1 check is not that good. Better is just moving back the queen on f6, announcing a check, and then king takes c7. Trying to keep the position simple, but we have queen takes a1, king g2. And now Stockfish says that you should uh, go for queen takes g1 and then king takes c7 in order to keep the advantage. But we have f5, queen h4, and now for example queen d8 can be a threat, right? That's why with queen f6 so black is neutralizing that threat. There came a check. At the moment we have uh, an equality, knight b8. Yeah, knight b8 is pretty good. Knight b8, queen takes h4. c8, queen here. And yeah, there is not much white can do. Total equality is on the board. And this is how white managed to draw the game with the help of a perpetual check. So Blake's uh, huge mistake was uh, winning the rook on a1. Yeah, it's in here that black won the rook, thus allowing white to... Uh, equalize the position but all in all yeah guys this was an amazing game i like that rook sacrifice which uh, somehow messed up everything and then came that knight b8 for example which is again a, an amazing move knight b8 allowing queen takes h4 but the new queen is going to be born and thus black is, uh, well, sorry, white is managing to draw. This was a fighting chess, fighting draw, and not a boring one, definitely. Not a boring one, despite a peaceful result. Uh, feel free to share this game with your friends as well. Let them know about this beauty, and in the end, a chess puzzle, where the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video, take care.